Okay, so I did a silent fan mod because, um, as you can see, this fan's pretty noisy. So this is the original fan. I bought one of these, um, these, shoot, Noctua fans, NFA 4x10. It's a, yeah, 40 millimeter by 10 millimeter fan. Um, it comes with a little adapter, so you can actually convert it to this two-pin thing. Um, but if you if you do this, you'll have to swap, so you can hear the difference. But yeah, you'll have to swap the pins. So I don't know if it's something with other fans or what, but they switch the pins. So the old fan, if you look at, there's two sides. So there's this. There's this side with the little part that clicks in, and then the other side is flat with the pin sticking out. So what you do is um, the metal things are raised so it, it hits the plastic so you can't pull it out. So what you do is you use a needle or some thin tool to push on those two silver pins. And while you're pushing on it, you can pull these out. But so just make sure the red and black wires are going to the same sides on the replacement fan. Um, the adapter had the red on the right side and the black on the left, so it was switched around when you look at the bottom with the pins. So just make sure if you're going to do this uh, fan upgrade to to change those, right? So now the fan, um, the board's cooling down, so it's lower voltage or putting out less voltage so it keeps like stopping and going but yeah so I'll show you if I plug the other one back in again you see how noisy this thing is see that it's so noisy so it does the same thing it stops and goes and stops and goes but it's so much more noisy Okay. Actually, I should probably check the air output. Decent amount of air. Okay. Now let's see if I put this fan back in. Because you don't want the, the thing to overheat from lack of air. Mm, pretty good amount of air as well. Switch back just so I can see. This fan might actually be a little bit more powerful. So, I don't know if I should keep it in there, but it's way more noisy. Um, I don't want my board to fry, so I might have to look into it, because it does use quite a bit more power. This uses 0.15 amps, and this thing uses 0.05 amps, so it's like a third the power. So... Yeah, it's probably not going to be powerful enough, but we'll see. I feel a good amount of air. I'll just monitor the temperatures and hopefully nothing weird goes on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty easy to replace. You just unravel this stuff and then you put all the extra and unravel it so it has this connector so it adapts into the two-pin one. So... That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.